Where are my pants? <laughs> what? Hardcore Pete stole my pants and ran away. <laughs> you can still catch him. He's right over there. Yeah, but even if I caught him, what would I do? <laughs> Cower and crap my pants, I guess. What pants? I didn't realize you had a backup set of pants that fit my exact sizes. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I always carry a backup set of pants for everybody I know. It's not- my backpack is filled with pants and nothing else. <laughs> and also maybe 30 guns. I've heard through the locals that Nephi has passed on. I truly hope his soul finds peace. Who? Nephi. Oh, you said that so <laughs> weird. Yeah, driver Nephi. What do you mean you hope his soul finds peace? I hope he's rotting in hell. I hope his soul is tied to his golf club so we can never find peace as long as Vincent's wielding it. Oh, man, that'd be great. Just constantly surrounded in a cloud of cigarette smoke because of Vincent. <laughs> can you imagine if Nephi was haunting Vincent? It turns out that Vincent's doing more of the haunting, even though he's still alive. The fire is just like, let me be in peace! The name's Vincent. Vincent, Vincent. Second verse, same as the first. Get the fuck away from me before I cave in your skull. I like the idea that whatever you got in your hand can be a weapon. Fucking ain't right it is. This baby's my life, my love, my strong right arm. Killed a lot of fuckers with this hunk of iron, yes sir. More than any other fiend. Hundreds, maybe. Wham, bam. Oh, God, my brains. You hit me in my brains. Easy as that. Out here, you gotta be ready to fling your goddamn cum in someone's eyes and blind them if need be. So next time you see me tossing around something sticky, that's why. Jesus. What's your deal? The Legion being wiped out at Nelson gave us some breathing room. Hopefully the brass will use that. Uh, Whoever did that is a real hero. Probably should build a statue about him. Who are you? Captain Parker. I'm in charge of this camp. That's all. It's short and simple. All we needed to know. K-I-S-S. What exactly is this place other than a dirt pile? This here's where folks go when their luck runs out. Drifters up from the Republic, locals that can't turn a dime, drunken reprobates from all around. And if you don't have the caps to get onto the strip, odds are you'll end up here. Can I do stuff and you'll pay me? <laughs> Some people have gone missing from the camp lately. I haven't seen any signs of violence or heard about any feuds. They just up and vanished. And I've also got Keith and his gambling to deal with. I know that skunk's cheating folk out of their savings. I just can't prove it. One of these missions sounds more important than the others. Yes, indeed, you're correct. Tell me about this Keith. (laughs) Keith's a two-bit hustler. He runs a gambling operation out of his shack. Ask me, he wins way too often to be playing fair. I suspect he's running drugs, too. I just can't prove it. Okay, we'll go investigate Keith quickly. I declare him pre-guilty! Ah, guilty of thought crime, is he? Quickly, we will go and arrest him in the name of the thought police! Is this the correct building? I actually have no idea. I just found a building and walked towards it. Mm. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Classic suicide. Three (laughs) shots to the back of the head. Classic murder-suicide. Shot the toilet, then shot himself. Oh, this is Keith. Hey there. Fancy a game of caravan? No, I super don't. Also, you're covered in blood. Besides, gambling ain't really my scene. Maybe you can hook me up with something medicinal, you dig? I happen to keep some jet around for emergencies. Uh, 35 caps in it's yours. Hell yeah, man. I'll take it. And here you go. Enjoy, my friend. Thanks for the evidence, sucker! Word around the east side is that you took out some major players in the Fiends. That should make life safer for a lot of people. Hell yeah, I did. Also, I've got evidence. Keith is selling drugs to the locals. Take a look at this jet. This also clearly wasn't jet that I just had. I knew he was involved with drugs. Thanks. This gives me the evidence I need. I'm gonna go take Keith into custody. If you're interested in a little extra pay, I wouldn't mind backup. Hell yeah, I'll be backup. Glad to have you. Let's go. Never trust a man named Keith. Keith, in the name of the NCR, I'm placing you under arrest for the sale of unlicensed chems. Fuck you, man. I ain't going nowhere with you. Come quietly now. I don't want to have to hurt you. Why don't you go cry to your wife then? Oh, that's right. She left your worthless stinking ass. What? You son of a bitch. (laughs) Damn it, I didn't want you to kill him. Just find me some evidence. Um... (laughs) He's chastising you for pulling the trigger two seconds earlier. Thank God I have this body cam on that shows that you started shooting at him first and it clearly wasn't me. Yeah, definitely not edited footage or anything. (laughs) Tell me about those disappearances again. I remember hearing some of the missing folks were doing business with Dermot and St. James. 
A couple of scavengers from Westside. Hmm. I'll look into it. Glad to hear it. Did I ever tell you that I'm not really a big fan of The Lion King? I don't care what anybody says, Aladdin is better. The, the Lion King is just a kid's version of Hamlet. And it's done very well. It is, but it's just a kid's version of Hamlet. I like Aladdin better. Aladdin is a kid's version of Aladdin. Doesn't make it bad. Hey man, that thing's venting. Real bad. You want to take that thing off before it explodes. Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here. Got it? What do you do around here? Me and Dermot work salvage around New Vegas. Want to tell me about Dermot? What do you even mean? He's Dermot. That doesn't answer my question. If you were to say, why don't you tell me about Mike? And I said, what do you mean he's Mike? That and doesn't answer your damn question. And it would be like asking, what makes Aladdin the best movie? And you saying, it's just the best movie. This is entirely personal preference. I like Aladdin better than The Lion King. That's fine. Even though The Lion King is objectively the better movie, you're totally... It isn't objectively the better movie. What does Aladdin have? I can show you the flying on a magic carpet and stuff. Yeah, I... that's great. <laughs> what does The Lion King have? Mufasa. <laughs> what an impersonation. Scar, was... no, no. help me, I... brother. And then he throws him into the pit. Let me go back. I want to imagine Mufasa screw up the line by yelling his own name. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm done with this conversation! And I'm done with your stupid smug face! Fuck off. <laughs> you fuck off! We gotta go through this again? What's it about this time? Some people have gone missing and they were last seen dealing with you! I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. What is an Aerotech? Fuck you! You got nothing on me and Dermot! Suspicious! <laughs> Seems unnecessary! <laughs> All right, we gotta take care of this. <laughs> ah, the classic... <laughs> the classic murder-murder. Sister to the murder-suicide. Why don't we go see if there's a room in the Casa Suites? Are you tired, or do you want to shack up with some of the prostitutes? No, Mike, we're going, we're going there to dig up dirt on these two jerks. Oh, this is Dermot's apartment. I think we broke in here before. <laughs> Why would we have done that? Dermot's ledger. Going to be a little different than the one I kept for Hall and Scrap, haha. But I've always been a strong believer in keeping straight books. To Motor Runner, Teen Girl, 500 caps. Adult Man, 38, zero caps. True to his word, paid top money for the girl. Plus bonus for first delivery. But paid nothing for girl's father, who took a swing at him, went untied. Gotta get him more secured. Also, keep SJ off the girls, as even fiends don't want used goods. Wow, that's fucked up. Gotta be more careful selecting what we deliver. Runner like the woman, of course, but the baby's worthless, except to make sure the woman does as she's told. This is fucked up, and I don't want to read this anymore. Oh, but there's a sale to driver Nefi and one to cook cook. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, we're just gonna have to kill these guys. You, you rewound time to bring them back to life, only to realize maybe killing them was a good idea to begin with. Probably was. Let's search his room. Oh, look, he's got a teddy bear. Ah. I just stole it. St. James, I have some great information for you. We gotta go through this again? Look what I found in your room. It's your teddy bear. What are you doing stealing my stuff? That ain't even mine. I mean, it's mine, but it's private. Give it back. No. Hell, don't give it back. I don't care. Just found it when we was working salvage and thought I'd save it to give to some kid if one came by. Uh-huh. I think it is yours, and he's gonna start crying any second now. <laughs> I found this ledger in Dermot's room. You got his book? Dermot, this bastard got your book. He got your book! What are you gonna do about it? You die about it. Alright, I feel better. Why? You blew the head off some innocent man. He wasn't innocent! I have this evidence! How do I know it's not a forgery and you're just gonna plant evidence to Handwriting just... analysis! What do we have to compare it to? His diary. Uh, that... We don't have a diary! I mean, his ledger. The one we have. You compare it to itself? Yes! Uh, it's a perfect match! Guilty! Yes! Guilty! Guilty! So that was the quest. Good job. We can't go save those people? There wasn't anything else I could do with that? Are you disappointed that that small quest didn't have more to it? I'd hope that, you know, I could go save some people and redeem myself for just killing two men in cold blood. You didn't have to kill him in cold blood. You could have brought the evidence to the NCR soldier. Ah, shoot. <laughs> but you didn't think about that, did you? Your mind always jumps right to shooting people with a shotgun. Damn it. Can I, can I load? 
Can I load a preview? I'll song? hit the button. <laughs> Something I can help you with, stranger. I found all the evidence you'll need from St. James and Dermot's rooms. Here you go. And uh, I'm keeping this teddy bear. Let's see. A bear. No, oh, yes. that, that's my bear. This belonged to the little girl, so that's a direct connection to the missing people. Oh. And this ledger. I know these names. Nephi and Cook are major players with the fiends. Dermot and St. James must be working with them. Well, they're dead. Thank you for your help. I'll make sure those sick bastards get what's coming to them. So that was the first time you learned that the teddy bear actually had significance. Oh. <laughs> well, sh can I have the bear bat? No, it's evidence. It's evidence. It's going in an evidence locker. I like that bear. Why? It was covered in his semen. Ew! <laughs> never mind! Oh, you couldn't have told me that earlier? Oh, man, if only you had investigated his room more and learned all of his dirty secrets. Ah, uh, gross! I was touching it! Well, seeing as how that quest at Aerotech Park didn't take too long, why don't we stop by Vault 19? Got some free time, might as well. Now, be careful, we don't know what we're gonna find behind this door. Could Probably be nothing, I bet there's nothing down here. These vaults are usually home to some weird social experiments. You're not one of us. What do you want? Uh, well, I came here looking for work. If you can find a way to cut off access to the sulfur in the caves below the vault, I've got some caps waiting for you. Ooh. Why can't you do it? I don't mean anything by that. I just want to know. I have to watch Cook. I wouldn't put it past him to just start killing the opposition, starting with me. What? What? Who the hell is Cook? What do you mean? What is happening in here? Fucking Cook has us trapped here. After we escaped from an NCR prison, oh! he dragged us around the wasteland until we ended up in this shithole. A group of us want to leave. Go back to the NCR and surrender. But Cook won't let us. Cook is planning to use the sulfur to make bigger explosives. Will you check out the caves and see if there's anything you can do? Without access to the sulfur, he'll lose what influence he has left with the men here. Fine, I will seal off the sulfur to prevent Cook from building more explosives because... Lord only knows the last thing the NCR needs is a bunch of drug-addled losers throwing explosives at them. <laughs> yeah, they get enough of that from us. Take his keycard. I tried hacking the locking mechanisms on the doors, but it seems the only way in is with one of these. All right, I'll be back. We now have the blue key card. Hmm. All right, well, we're looking for Cook. Who the hell are you? I know you weren't one of the inmates. Uh, yeah, I was one of the uh, one of the inmates. I was the one arrested for jaywalking. And this is my partner in crime. He was the getaway driver. I was. <laughs> I also ran him over. <laughs> it's not a very good getaway driver. Oh, I'm pretty bad at it. What's got you so worked up? That coward Lim has been talking about surrendering to the NCR. Now the men are confused, not sure who's leading this gang. So how'd you end up in prison? I was blowing up supply caravans along the 15 freeway. The NCR got wise to my ambush spots, picked me up and threw me in a cage. How'd you get out? Saved a little blast powder here, hit a makeshift weapon there, and one day I orchestrated a little symphony for the NCR. Yeah, that's not really a symphony. That's really more of a... It is kind of like a symphony with one very loud note. <laughs> I was going to say it's more of like a musical sting. Bear! <laughs> yeah. There's some fire geckos in the lower levels of the vault. We need to get them gone so we can get to the sulfur. You go clear them out for us, and there'll be some caps for you. Cool. What do you want the sulfur for? Big, big fucking bombs. You gonna help us or not? Are we gonna help this powder ganger require more explosives? Why can't you do it? I have to keep an eye out on that bastard limb. The second I turn my back, he might go crying to the NCR. So what do you say? You going to take care of those geckos? Yeah, sure. Hell yeah, Will. Great. Get to it. Oh, and take this. There's some weird shit with this vault security, and some doors will only open if you have a key card. We got the red key card, the blue key card. That means we can open purple doors now. Yeah, and red doors and blue doors. Well, that seems pretty presumptuous. I don't know about that. Lem wants us to blow up the sulfur, and Cook wants us to secure it. Yeah. What are you feeling about this? Hmm. Ah, more terminals full of data entries, yes. I haven't been able to sleep lately. One of the blues. He's always creeping around by the security door, and I think he's trying to get in. I can hear noises through the intercom sometimes. Dad says he can't hear it, but I can. It's really high pitch, and sometimes I can hear a voice, but I can't make out the words. Mom says it's my imagination that I shouldn't talk about it, that it might worry people, but I've talked to some of the other kids, and they say they've heard it too! 
So it sounds to me like there is a bit of distrust among these residents. I noticed that there were two overseer's offices. Was the vault separated into two things, red and blue side? I think that's correct, yeah. I've been asking around. There's no reason for the filters to fail. Must have been sabotage. There's a rumor going around that one of the reds did it. Wouldn't surprise me. Whenever I walk by a group of them in the cafeteria, they all start whispering. Some of the blues caused some trouble in the clinic today. I bet they were stealing drugs. I've heard the vents coming on late at night. Others have too, and I bet they're using the drugs to poison us. Stealing supplies in the clinic and using them to kill us all. The commotion at the clinic, it was a trick. The doctor must be giving them the drugs, and she must be in on it. I believe we have a spy among us, one of the reds pretending to be a blue. They are using the bulletin boards to communicate. I believe they want me to see it. I've noticed one of the lights flickering past the door in the red's hallway. I believe it to be morose code. I don't trust that doctor. She has bodyguards. Why does the doctor need bodyguards? I have a work with a friend. He's trying to hack into the doc's computer. We haven't had any luck. It took some convincing, but I finally got him to show me what he found on the doc's computer. I wouldn't like it. Maybe I am insane. Maybe this isn't happening. Maybe the war never happened. Maybe I'm trapped in my head. Took some doing, but a few of us got together and managed to distract the people in the clinic long enough for me to skin in and do some looking around. I found restraints to some sedatives to kill a horse. She must be using them to control us to make us forget. We're the positive stick in! We confront the doctor today. She refused to give us any information. I've been getting headaches. I think someone is poisoning us. I don't believe him. I don't trust him. And I don't trust any of them. I've been up every night this week. And night after night, an extra boost of air comes through the fence. It lasts about five minutes. And then it turns off. I spoke with one of the neighbors and she said she knows the same thing in his room. I had trouble sleeping again last night. The fence turned on for about five minutes and turned off. That's all. I made a report to the maze officer. He reported that the system was running perfectly. And there wasn't anything to worry about. I don't believe him. He's in on it. He's in on it. He's in on it. I know it. But. Maybe that's not the case. Paranoia, Mike. <laughs> the living quarters. Whoa, geckos, 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 and landmines, and landmines. We're landmines. Ow! Ow, oh, that didn't feel good. I was gonna make a pun about these living quarters be more of a dying quarters, but my leg is hurt. Oop, there's one. Shh, shh, shh. Let me see your hall pass. Can you imagine hall monitors with guns? <laughs> I can, and I think it makes for a more orderly school. Voices. I can hear the voices through the vents. They sound like plotting. They sound like hate. Everybody's going crazy. Everybody get up. It's time to slam now. We got a real jam going now. <laughs> God, I kill those rats now. They're plotting, 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 plotting. I saw one of the guys in the mess hall pull a bottle cap off a sunset sarsaparilla and then run into his room. I knew he was hiding something, so I broke into his room when he wasn't there, and I saw the bottle cap. It had a blue star on it. I think he's been mocked for something, but I can't figure out what. All I know is I want that bottle cap! Oh, we figured out Malcolm Holmes' origin story. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I was about to say that. <laughs> Hi. Stay out of the tech labs! No feast bump? <laughs> oh! The crystals on the rock seem to indicate a pocket of potassium nearby. Some strategically placed C4 could be enough to destroy both the cave and the vault. Oh, jeez. So we've actually got a couple of different options here. We can kill all of the geckos so the powder gangers have access to the sulfur. Mm -hmm. We could blow up the sulfur deposit but leave the vault intact. Or we could blow up the vault and all of its contents, including the people. Yikes. So if you want to blow up the powder gangers, very ironic death. That's on the table. I think we should just blow up the sulfur deposit. All right, hope we got enough C4. Zach's been blowing up the sulfur all the live long day. Zach's been blowing up the sulfur so Cook can't have his way. I sure hope that explosion was you. Did you seal off the sulfur? Oh, yeah. Good to hear. Without access to the sulfur, Cook doesn't have much to offer the gang. I... I guess it's over then. We can turn ourselves in. Mm, have you considered joining the Great Cons? No, this needs to end. I'm tired of running and living like scavengers. Oh, I, I guess I had no option of telling him that I thought he was doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing! Since we've helped Lem destroy the bomb-making materials, Cook really isn't a threat anymore. Do you just want to leave him here? Kind of. But I also kind of want to kill him. You think the other gangers in the vault would go hostile? Holy shit! Ugh. Oh no, he randomly exploded! It's always fun when something blows up! <laughs> oh!
Oh. Oh, I thought he was taking a nap. Yeah. I was about to start cooing. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like, when something is so cute that you can't help but clench your teeth and you want to punch it. Yeah. <laughs> what? 